Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today uh, we are proceeding to part 6 of triangles and at the start uh, from question number 6 because so far we are done uh, with exercise uh, uh, we are done up to exercise 6.4 question number 5 so let us start question number 6 of exercise 6.4 exercise 6.4 question number 6 and again it's very really important question 6 and 7 is very really important question prove that the ratio of question says prove that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding medians so we have two similar triangles let me make two similar triangles let us say these are two similar triangles a, B, C, X, Y, Z. Let's make one of the medians. And here also. Here let's say median is A, M. Here x n. So what is given? It says prove that the ratio of areas of two similar triangles. That means triangles are similar, it's already given. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle. X, Y, C where where A, M and X, N are medians on B, C and Y, C respect to what we are going to prove we are going to prove that ratio of areas of these similar triangles that means area of A, B, C divided by area of X, Y, Z it is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding medians that means AM by XN whole square this is what we are going to prove let us see how <coughs> First of all, I'll start with, let us consider this triangle and this triangle. What we have, consider triangle ABM and triangle XYN. Consider these two triangles since what you have here since 
since angle B is equal to angle Y, cast for triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. Angle B is equal to angle Y because uh, ABC is similar to XYZ that means angle B is equal to angle Y corresponding angles are similar triangles. Then I can say AB by C AB by XY is equal to AB by XY is equal to BM by YN BM by YN Yes Why? See Focus on this reason AB by XY is equal to BM by I'm saying AB by XY is equal to BM by YN See why? As AB by XY is equal to BC by YZ. What is the reason for this? CPST for triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. See. When triangle ABC is similar to XYZ, I can say AB by XY is equal to BC by YZ. CPST, corresponding parts are similar triangles because sides are in proportion when triangles are similar. So in that case, when I said AB by XY is equal to BC by YZ, that means I can say AB by XY is equal to half of BC by half of YZ implies implies AB by XY is equal to half of BC by half of YC. This is the reason. AB by XY is equal to BC by YZ. Why? CPST for triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. Implies AB by XY is equal to half of BC by half of YZ. When AB by XY is equal to BC by YZ, I can make here half and half, multiply and divide. So half and half gets cancelled, you get the same result again. So, but half of BC, half of BC is BM because it is the median. And half of YZ is YN because XN is the median. So I can say AB by XY is equal to BM by YN. Therefore, triangle ABM is similar to triangle XYN. Now you see angle B is equal to angle Y. One angle of one triangle is equal to another angle of another triangle, and the sides including these and including these angles are in proportion. AB by XY is equal to BM by Y included side. So by side angle side, similarity criteria. Now triangles are similar. If they are similar, then I can say AB by XY. Then I can say AB by XY is nothing but AM by XN. Can I say this? AB by XY is equal to AM by XN because triangles are similar. Now all the corresponding sides are in proportion. You can write CPSD corresponding parts of similar triangles. Uh, let us call this as equation first. <coughs> now, triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. It's given. Then I can use term 6.6. Which implies that area of ABC divided by area of XYZ 
is equal to the ratio of the square of the corresponding, any of the corresponding sides. Let us let me take AB by XY. So I say AB by XY whole square. The reason is ratio of area under similarity. Got that one? Okay. Therefore, area of ABC divided by area of XYZ is equal to, now see, this is equal to this. Now, AB by XY from first is equal to AM by XM. So, I can replace AB by XY by AM by XM. Then I have whole square as such. I will give you the reason here from first. We are done. Area of ABC by this is equal to this. So we proved it. Hence, proved quadratic demonstration. You can make a note. Then question number 7, prove that the area of an equilateral triangle is described on one of, the one of the sides of the square. So we have a square, see, we have a square and it says that an equilateral triangle described on one of the sides. Describe uh, means construct uh, an equilateral triangle taking base of an equilateral triangle as one of the sides of this square. So let me say this is the base. So describe one triangle, equilateral triangle here. So you go like this and like this. So this is an equilateral triangle described on one of the sides of this square. And one equilateral triangle is described on one of the diagonals. Let me make the diagonal. Now describe one equilateral triangle on this Just like this, <sighs> if I name square as A, B, C, D, this is a square, let us say this is E, and let us say this is F. And what you have? You have A, B, C, D, a square, you have E, D, C, an equilateral triangle, you have AFC an equilateral triangle. Uh, if I say the length of the, the side of the square, let us say it's small a. So what about BC? Small a. What about DC? Small a. What about AD? Small a. As it's a square. Now if DC is small a, what about DE? Small a because it's an equilateral triangle. What about EC? Small a, equilateral triangle. Now, pay attention. The diagonal of a square, you know, note. 
diagonal of a square is square root 2 times its side. Remember this point. Diagonal of a square is square root 2 times its side. Let us prove how. Suppose we have a square with side A. This is a diagonal and I know the interior angle of a square is 90 degree. I need to find this diagonal. Let us say this diagonal is x. The length of this diagonal is x. Let us solve for this x by using Pythagoras theorem because it's a right angle triangle. In this triangle apply Pythagoras theorem. What you have? You have x square is equal to a square plus a square. Got it? That means x square is equal to twice a square. In that case, x is equal to square root 2 a square, considering the positive value because it's a distance, then what you'll get, you get square root 2 times square root 2, square root 2 times square root a square. Square root will get cancelled, you get square root 2 times a. That means diagonal of a square is equal to square root 2 times the side of a square. The side was a. So square root 2 times side of a square. That's what I wrote here. Diagonal of a square is square root 2 times its side. So if here AB is a side, it's A. Squ uh, side of a square, the length of the side of the square is A. That means length of the diagonal would be square root 2 times A. Now see, if this is square root 2 A, what about this? Since it's an equilateral triangle, it's again square root 2 A. This is also square root 2. Okay. Got this one? Now, now what is given? A square. A square. A, B, C, D, a square A, B, C, D with a square A, B, C, D and equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle E, D, C and an equilateral triangle AFC with side with sides as for square we have A A units for this equilateral triangle a units and for this equivalent square root 2 A units respectively. You got what is given? A square ABCD and equilateral triangle EDC and an equilateral triangle EFC with sides as A units, A units and square root 2 A units respectively. To prove We are going to prove. We are going to prove that the equilateral triangle described on the area of an equilateral triangle described on the side of a square. That is area of EDC. Area of EDC. It's going to be equal to half of area of AFC. That means it's going to be equal to half of area of triangle described on one of the diagonals. So we need to prove this thing. So let's have proof. You know that equilateral triangles, all equilateral triangles are similar because every equilateral triangle has angles of, has a, a, an interior angle 
this major of interior angle as 60 degree each. So that means 60, 60, 60, 60. So every equilateral triangle, all equilateral triangles are similar. So I can say since, let us use that one, since triangle EDC is similar to triangle AFC and you can give the reason all equilateral triangles are similar. Which implies that. Then if triangles are similar you can apply term 6.6 that will give you area of EDC divided by area of AFC is equal to the side of this triangle is A divided by the side of equilateral triangle is square root 2 A then we have whole square give the reason ratio of area under under the similarity. Got that one? Then let us solve this. What you will get for here? A squared divided by twice A squared. That will give you nothing but 1 by 2. Got it? A squared, A squared gets cancelled. Now see here, A squared is A squared. Square root 2 squared is 2 because square root 2 gets cancelled. A squared is A squared. Then a square one is a square one, so you have 1 by 2. Therefore, you can transpose the CFC here. You have area of EDC is equal to 1 by 2 times area of AFC. And proved. Make a note. Now question number 8, ABC and BDE are two equilateral triangles such that D is the midpoint of BC. ABC and BDE are two equilateral triangles such that D is the midpoint of BC. So let me make ABC first, equilateral triangle. So like this, this is an equilateral triangle A, B, C. D is a midpoint of B, C. So D is here. D is a midpoint of B, C. And triangle is B, D, E. C, B, D. So you must go like this. It says both are equilateral triangles. So equilateral triangle is constructed in this, this way. Now we can read uh, ABC and BDE are two equilateral triangles and that D is the midpoint of BC. Ratio of the areas of triangle ABC and BDE. You need to find ABC is to BDE. Okay, so what is given? Triangle, equilateral triangle and equilateral triangle ABC and equilateral triangle BDE such that, or you can see where B 
where t is the midpoint of BC. Got it? To find. You need to find area of find the ratio of the areas of angle ABC. Yes, area of ABC is to area of BDE. You need to get out this. Solution. See. You know that all equilibrium triangles are similar. Let's use the same concept. Since triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDE. Why all equilibrium triangles? Uh, similar, which implies that then you can apply theorem 6.6 area of ABC divided by area of BDE is equal to the ratio of the square of their corresponding sides. So from from ABC from ABC triangle, let us take BC. Divide by from BD, let's take BD. So BC by BD whole square. The ratio of area under under CRT. You got the reason? Okay, then which implies that area of ABC divided by area of BDE is equal to now BC BC divided by BD is nothing but twice BC can I say BD is twice BC since D is the midpoint since D is the midpoint of BC. What the reason? Now you cancel BC ones, BC ones. So you have 1 by 2, that will give you 1 by 4. Therefore, therefore, area of ABC is to area of, let me just write it here. Therefore, area of ABC is to area of BDE is nothing but 1 by 2 whole square, that is 1 is to 4. Because you have 1 by 4, so 1 is to 4. And that's your answer. Got it? Then we have question number 9. It says sides of two similar triangles are in the ratio 4 is to 9. Areas of these triangles are, I'll say sides are in the ratio 4 is to 9. So areas here, or you can just directly write like this. Let us say two triangles are triangle 1 and triangle 2. So you can say since area of triangle 1 divided by area of triangle 2 it is given area of triangle 2. Area, you know, triangles are similar. go like this since triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2 that is given that triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2 given 
when you can say which implies that area of triangle 1 divided by area of triangle 2 is equal to the ratio of the square of their corresponding sides and sides are in the ratio 4 is to 9 so you can do 4 by 9 whole square why you are in 4 by 9 as ratio of sides is equal to 4 is to 9 so you have to apply here from 6 by 6 then you go therefore area of triangle 1 is to area of triangle 2 is equal to 4, 4, 16 is to 9, 81. And that's your answer. 16 is to 81, that's the part D. And for question number 8, we have 1 is to 4, part D for both the questions. Midpoint of BC, D is the midpoint of BC, means BC is twice BD, not the opposite. We faced small problem here. We have to write BC as twice BD, twice. BD divided by BD as such. Now we can some BD BD, so you have 2 by 1 whole square. That is 4 is to 1. 2 to 4, 4 is to 1. 4 is to 1 is your answer, and that is part C. And for question number 9, you have part D. That's it. Make a note. 